In this particular lecture, let's take a look at a drawback of using props. Now this exactly isn't a drawback, but you could say that it's a limitation of props and it cannot even be said as a limitation, but instead it's a property of a props, a behavior of the props and the way in which the props behave for a specific reason. So uh, let's go to the profile component, which we have here, where we have passed in props.name and props.lastname. So what I would do now is that I would simply go ahead and make use of the profile component in here. So let me delete the message component and instead use the profile component here. So I would say profile, let's pass in the name as my name. Let's pass in the last name as well. And once we have passed this thing in, we should be able to get the name over here, which is all fine and good. But the drawback of the props is that you cannot actually go ahead and modify the value of props right up over here. So for example, let's say the value of name over here gets passed as my name. And let's say inside the component, I want to change the value of that particular prop. So let's go ahead and try to do that. So first of all, I'll get access to props. So the way in which we get access to props is that you say props.name. So here I would say props.name and you'll notice that I have not used curly braces here because this particular code is still JavaScript. It's not actually some JSX code. This is plain simple JavaScript which we are writing here. So I could say props.name equals and let's try to modify the name to Jake and let's see what happens in this case. So if I go to the browser, as you can see, it says type error cannot assign to read only property name of object. And we get the specific error because props are actually immutable and props are read only. That means you cannot change the data which you have inside props and you can only access or read that specific data. So for example, if you have some data passed in as props data, you cannot go ahead and modify that data no matter what. Now, the problem here with this is that, let's say you want to have some value over here, which could change dynamically inside your component. So how exactly would you do that? You obviously cannot do that with props because props are actually immutable. You cannot change the value of props once that value is set. So in order to make this component dynamic, instead of using props, we make use of something which is called as state in React. So in the upcoming lecture, we will go ahead and learn about what exactly is a state and how that is different from props. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.